stress happens. Stress is a part of life. Some things are more stressful than others. I monitor my stress levels daily. I also monitor how I'm dealing with the stress, how I'm responding to the stress, what patterns and habits I have around stress management. I agree to no longer lock the stress in my body. I agree to open up channels to release the emotions I have related to the stress. The pores of my skin open up and let out any toxins related to the stress. All the muscles in my body release the tension as I'm choosing smooth and effective strategies for applying self-care. I let go of ways that I forget about self-care when I'm facing stressful times. I now choose a new path, a new system, a new way of doing life. And that means tuning into self-care channels, taking healthy breaks from everything that's going on, recharging myself, and then coming back and dealing with all that's in front of me. The stress may be real. The stress may be scary. The stress does not own me. I still have ownership over what I think, how I see things, what I believe about the future. I still have ownership on how I will manage my feelings, on how I will take care of myself when I have really strong feelings about things. I own how much this will weigh me down. I know there's a heaviness here but I also know how to pace myself, how to reach out for support, and how to set really clear boundaries so that I can take really amazing care of myself as I walk this path. I need to be good to me. The more muddy my thoughts are, piled up my feelings are, and tense my muscles are, the less clarity and insight and wisdom I'll have. And so I maintain self-care during stressful times. I maintain health I maintain resiliency. I maintain authenticity. I am taking care of myself. No matter how hard, how dark, how challenging things may get, I take care of myself. I tune into self care. And I stay in self love.
it can still be a challenge to prioritize myself. There's days I still find myself at the bottom of my priority list. It's a lot. There's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of responsibilities in my world. I hear that. I feel that. And I also renew my commitment to me. With each new day, I give time to listen to my needs. I listen to what my body is saying. I listen to what my mind is saying. I listen to what my heart is saying. I check in with myself. I add to my daily routine time for myself. And I reflect on what's going on inside. Take a deep, soothing breath. I make a comfortable place to observe my thoughts. I hear myself out. I listen to my needs without judging myself. I recognize what I need to process. I acknowledge what I need to release. I see what I need to refuel myself. I commit to myself. I commit to giving to myself. I commit to loving myself. I choose my health and well being. I am building my relationship with myself. I understand how I can maintain healthier thoughts. I understand how I can care for my body more. I understand how I can replenish my spirit even more. I take care of my mind. I care for my body.
I nourish my spirit. I make time for the person I am today. I focus on my health and wellness. I focus on the needs I have at this age and stage of my life. I am making space for me. I am making time for me. I am loving and caring for me. Let's take three full deep breaths. Feel free to count slowly with the inhale. And count slowly with the exhale. Sending the message to your body that this is self-care time. No pressure, no judgment. You don't have to be on, you just gotta be and be here. Checking in with yourself and asking yourself, where do I need self-care? And now in your mind's eye, begin to see a collage your best moments of self-care. What are you seeing? What does it say about what self-care looks like for you? Can you tell what time is self-care time? I am prioritizing self-care. I am aware of my burnout warning signs. I prioritize self-care with hydration. I prioritize self-care with nutrition. I prioritize self-care with sleep. I prioritize self-care with movement. I prioritize self-care with spirituality. I prioritize and practice self-care that fits my needs. I set up a meaningful morning routine. I de-stress with a meaningful evening routine. I prioritize
practice what recharges me. I do what lights me up. I do what connects me to my body. I have my time and space to slow down and be still. And I give myself credit for every investment into my self-care. When that means I've done my basic hygiene routine, that's self-care. When it means I've set boundaries so that I can rest, that that's self-care too. I make my plan of self-care action and my plan for prioritizing this. I maintain good self-care habits as I try out new self-care habits. I create rituals routines and accountability to keep self-care my high priority. I provide systems, cues, and reminders for when and where it's self-care time. I am taking care of myself I'm doing the things that make me feel well-rested, well-nourished, and refreshed. I am maintaining and improving my health and well-being. I am prioritizing myself by prioritizing self-care. So many demands. I'm stretched in many directions. I am trying to prioritize myself. So many days it just feels like the clock runs out. I'm getting creative now. I'm getting bolder. I'm getting clearer. I am making time for me time. I am making time to be renewed. I'm making time to be refreshed. I make quality time for myself with myself. Whether it takes seconds, minutes, or hours, I 
I make quality time for myself. I take advantage of windows of opportunity. I step into self-care. I plug into self-help. I turn to self-compassion. I rescue myself and give myself quality time. I lead myself into self-care. I set myself up for an easy transition to me time. I put the tools and opportunities together so quality time is convenient. I give myself quality time. Time with me is important. I am important. My needs are important. I free myself from judging the quality of my quality time. I make quality time fun. I make quality time relaxing. I make quality time easy. I feel better when I have quality time with myself. I feel stronger when I have quality time with myself. I feel kinder when I get quality time with myself. I make time for me I make time for renewal. I make time to breathe. I am making quality time for myself. I am important. My needs are important. And I make time for me time. Hey, it's Josie here. Thanks for listening today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to play another episode right now.